russet potatoes from Idaho and cut them into thick hand cut slices like that. A few rinses, get that starch out. You wanna hit the faucet a few times. Bring it to a boil and as soon as it does get to that, you wanna turn it off. Stir it every so often. Fork is fine. Just knock them around, yeah. Cause you don't want the ones on the bottom to be on the bottom the whole time. Cause that's the hottest part. You want them evenly cooked. <laughs> so we're almost there. It should look something like that. But a few more bubbles come popping up. Really start to boil. And then we'll shut it off real quick. Put it on this pan. And then throw it in the freezer, baby. Throw it in the freezer, you heard me. Um, if you see some of them have broken in half, that's good. That's kind of what we're looking for. We want some hairline fissures to develop in the potatoes. The oil is going to get in there when we fry them. And it's going to crunchify much more surface area. Science. I believe. I believe, yeah. <laughs> Once you get your rubbery spuds on the pan, make sure there's some space underneath it so that that cold air can just wrap it in a nice, nice uh, icy hug, just like your grandma used to give. But I just want you to forget about it. Just forget about it. Now that I've remembered the potatoes, I'm gonna take them out and bring them over to the cooktop here. And then we're gonna do small batches into the oil for the first fry. We're frying these twice, ladies. It's getting hot in here, so I'm taking off my clothes. Justin Timberlake had a DWI or something. It's a very important to stay organized here. Uh, you can probably tell just off of looks. I'm not a professional. And I'm just a guy on the internet telling you that I cook good things and you can cook good things too. And then you can watch the bear and you can be like, I'm that guy. You know the one? Shamlet, I think is his name. Tim Bob Shamlet? Jim. Jeremy Allen Shamlin. Who the fuck? I'm using two utensils to do this. This is the accuracy, and this is the mothership. <laughs> as I switch off, I'm using yeah, sorry, it kind of as, as I switch off. <laughs> as I switch on and off between the mothership and the accuracy, <laughs> I use one of them as kind of a Fry mark, if you will. Oh, that's me too. Fry mark, fry mark. As to which ones have been fried and which ones still need that first, that first fry. Oh, and as these come out, oh man. Gordon Ramsay could smell these from Leeds. They're good, they're going good. That man has a schnoz. Not in any kind of way. So we're taking the fries out, and then we're putting the fries in. It's not that complicated. Fries out, fries in, fries out, fries in. So if you like, you can kind Start of Start over. So if you like, you get the accuracy, you can clamp this, and then just use the mothership to lower those in to the hot, 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 hot oil. Actually, you just want it medium high, but it's still very hot. If that oil touches your skin, it's gonna sizzle. <laughs> what are you doing? So we're working on the last small batch of the first fry. It's coming along nicely here. Oh, these are gonna be better than those Five Guys fries. <laughs> Secret ingredient here. 
some household starch. We can use uh, corn flour. I get that. And uh, we're going to add some seasoning that hopefully doesn't burn. Uh, and you know what? We're going to go with some turmeric too. Because that's healthy. Good for your health. Good for your health. And then what we're going to do, we're going to mix that up. And these are going to help the fries get even crispier. They're going to act as a, almost like a breading, just a, just a little starchy coat. You know, we got rid of some of that starch at the beginning. We got to bring some back. You know, that's just matter can't be created or destroyed. Everyone knows that. And the last small batch of the first fry is coming out. And here's what we're gonna do next, folks. We're gonna get all these bastards on the pan. I mean, orphans on the pan. <laughs> all right, so the first batch of the first fry is all done here. And then here's what we're gonna do. Just real nice and sneaky. Just, just kind of get some of that in there. Kind of get some of that in there. And some of these will be hot, but some of these will be hot. Oh yeah. I'm gonna burn away my fingertips so I can become a career criminal. Or work for the CIA. Whichever form of criminality comes easiest. So for the next step on our fries, we're gonna make a steak. It's ready. Got that burner on. We preheated our damn pan. I like to reverse sear the pan. That's just me, though. Where's the olive oil? <laughs> uh, we found the olive oil. Someone hit it. Uh, and for you folks at home, you're going to want to wear a shirt. I got chest hair. Boom, bitch. Boom. We're just letting some of that fat render. Plus, I don't exactly know why. But someone told me that once and I was like, that sounds great. Now, uh, a lot of these boys online selling their culinary expertise will say, oh, you need an insert thermometer and stuff. How are you going to cook steak when the grid goes down, bud? <laughs> when there's no Wi-Fi, how are you going to cook a steak? Huh? Huh? You're not going to. You're going to be eating rats. And you're going to say, oh, this is overcooked because I don't have my insert thermometers. Is I cook off wood. Hope and a prayer. You know, they say cooking is a science, it's an art. <laughs> now this pan, folks, is scorching hot. It's a scorching hot pan. And as I said, I'm just waiting for divine time in here, folks. I'm just waiting until it feels right. Yeah, I can kind of see it, kind of look at it. Some people say flip it a lot, some people say don't flip it. I say flip it however many fucking times you need to, okay? Just make sure you don't use a infrared meat thermometer that's shrinking your balls and bloating your brain. Okay? <laughs> We're gonna do one of these, I don't know why either. We're cranking this up high heat. Grease fire be damned. And not only did I inherit my great great grandfather's good looks and his dress sense, but I can also flip a damn steak. Uh. I told you to put the goddamn coin. <laughs> And as that cooks, I told you not to lie. Oh uh, no, it's it's right here. Now you can smell the beef carcass just burning. Just your beautiful cut of meat you bought at Kroger just being ruined. But you know what I say to that? We're gonna wrap this puppy like Mother Teresa on Ash Wednesday. That crazy old bitch. 
All right, I think we've ruined our cut of meat quite enough now. See, we've got a nice, good, fine crust. Not great, but, you know, I don't want the comments to yell at me too much. Uh, I'll let it go a little bit more. Fuck you. Yeah, you watch it from your basement? I will let this steak burn. I don't give a fuck about you and your, oh, it's, it's mooing, oh, it's, it's ash. Alright, just kidding. I've tortured you about long enough now. I've watched you watch me overcook a steak. In the future, you understand. And what we have here is a ribeye. That comes from a cow. Like all steaks. Except for tuna steaks and ham steaks. And um, they have some fake steaks out of seitan. And um, there's also other ones. But most steaks, I think you'll agree, are made of beef. Now, I can hear Gordon Ramsay just, just crying. Just, just whipping himself with his dirty little hand towel. And here we go. Oh, am I going to drop it? Oh. We put that in the foil. We're going to let it rest. But not before. We put some of this on it. All you butter bastards out there. We don't baste here. We melt it on top. Like it's the ooey gooey frosting that it is. You can barely follow what I'm saying at this point in the video. Like I... I don't know if anyone's gonna watch this. Um, I just feel like such a fucking loser. Like, most. I told you not. Oh, well, it's fine. I just don't know how I can ever open up to you, girl. Bang! And for all you papists, I told you to hold still. All right. So we got our oil back. The corns are in the oven now. Now we're gonna work on our fry season. Now that, you said we didn't have any of these. I was looking for Stop! Now we don't fucking have any. Now we don't. <laughs> so I was actually gonna call it. <laughs> now our fry seasoning is going to consist of much of the same as our fry uh, breading, we'll call it, did. Except probably in a large quantity. Butter and sugar, folks. You know why it's so good at restaurants? Butter and sugar. Fucking idiot. We're gonna mix that up. Baby, I'm sorry I've been yelling at you so much today. No, it's, 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 I gotta tell you something. Thank you for not ratting me out to that cop. What? Oh. What, Never mind. Stop it. It's not ready. I try to project like a cool guy image. You know, I can't be seeing Christine Aguilera's. That's not her. No. Demi Lovato's. Nope. Uh, Carly Bailey. What? Carly Levy. Who? Cara Delevingne. She doesn't sing. She's got really big eyebrows. So do you. So angry with you right now. I just you've been you've been acting like this all day. So the moment we woke up, I just have had it with you. Stop! This isn't the quick way to make fries. This isn't the clean way to make fries. This isn't even the best way to make fries, probably. But it's my way. And it's crunchy and it's good. And it uses a lot of dishes and steps. And uh, if you want to just go down to Five Guys and have the corporations make your fries, that's fine with me. But you need to know something. When you step up in my house, when you step up in my house, all right, these are the fries I'm making you because I love you. I only act like this because I love you. You understand? You fucking. It was just a little. 
Oh. I'm not gonna admit anything. If your name's on the lease, and you're always bragging to me about how I have five cents in my checking account, then how about you go hire a lawyer? Now, the first small batch of the second fry is up. Hey! And me and my lovely girlfriend, who's gonna act right the rest of the day, right? We're gonna we're gonna sample some of these suckers on camera for you, cause I know that's what that's all that you care about is the fucking crunch. Yeah, I promised the crunch, so there better be some crunch, huh? One shake. 